Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Festive Friday where we are going to use this particular challenge and it is Mother's Day and or pink. And I am going to use this sketch which is from, let me look here quick, which is, it is from Sketches with a Twist blog. I will link the Pinterest link down because that is where I got it from and of course I will link where you can go to get all of this fun stuff for festive Friday along with this one and all of the other stuff I will link their Facebook community page as well and I would love to see what you do with this particular challenge which is for Mother's Day and you use or you use pink so you can do either Mother's Day or pink or both and I decided to use shades of pink and talk about Mother's Day on this one with the photos that I have I did also do a multi photo as well I have four photos on this page I'm doing really well with adding more pages I used to back like when I first started scrapbooking back in 2003 2004 I would put down it on like a big piece of paper and there would be like six or seven different photos on there and I would write under each every one of them and maybe put a little embellishment and then that was my pages. Well now, I still love to do multi-photos. I really enjoy doing those. I've always enjoyed putting more photos instead of doing like two or three layouts with the particular event. I love doing them. I'm just not a double spread type person. I, you know, I used to be and I just didn't really like that style. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do things like this. I don't mind doing different sizes of photos. The two photos that are landscape are 4 by 3s and then the other ones that are portraits, one is a 3 by 3 and then the other one is a 4 by 3 so that is pretty much where the photos came from I will the photos are of my daughter and I we tend to on Sundays love to take selfies with our masks I do really nice facial masks for my daughter and then I do like you know the good ones for my face and then I do have like pink is what I use on her face from Victoria's Secret because it's not that harsh. So please don't think that I make her do facials because she's got an issue. She just loves doing them with me. And I figured it would be so much easier to find something that is nice for her. And it's just a, you know, a soft pink um, brand from Victoria's Secret that I put on her face. And then mine is like the, you know, the good detox style. So. She just loves to take selfies with her face and she likes the charcoal <laughs> style and that's what she is wearing and me, I have, I don't know, something that I got from, I think the FabFit kit is where I got that facial from and so I absolutely love that. So that's pretty much what this is and I thought that this would be a good Mother's Day layout because I explain about how even though that we have... A, it's like a the best way I can explain it for like mother daughter is my daughter and I have a love hate relationship and I mean it in the best from the best heart that I have her and I are so much alike that sometimes it is definitely hard for her and I to get along so when and we do a lot together I'm not I mean we do soccer together we do a lot but a lot of times there are days that I just need my space and I know she needs her space and we separate. Like she'll go into her room and do things and all day long and then at night we're getting ready to go to bed and you know she'll talk to me and then the next day she wants to be everywhere I'm at and I have no problem with that. So I don't want to say it's like a love-hate relationship but it's kind of in that respect. Like we we definitely mesh well when we want to and then when we don't we separate because that's just how it is. And that's what I explained in the journaling and why I decided to use this for Mother's Day. And then I am throwing in different 
colors of pink. It's like lavender, lavender purplish pinkish colors is what I'm throwing in there. So it's not just straight out pink. I have different shades of pink. So I used both on that for this particular channel for, or this challenge for this one. So the way Festive Friday works is it starts today and then it goes for two weeks. So you can go check out the blog, which I will link down below for you to be able to go check out what the blog is and where you can go and do your challenge. You can use either or or both. So it's Mother's Day and or pink. And then just show us what we love. Tag us if you um, are doing it on social media so we can see it. Also check the community page as well because we post our things there as well as reminders of when you get it. And then if you are selected, then the best part about the selection is you win a prize. And they change and they're varied between weeks. And I am one of the few that does scrapbooking. So we would love to see more scrapbookers like all of you that watch me chime in and do the challenge and then post and see and let us see your take on it because they reached out to me because I'm a scrapbooker and they're more card makers. But it is so cool because the reason why we challenge ourselves is we look at, they we have a whole list for the whole year of what we are doing for those holidays that you can bring out a card, you can do a bullet journaling, you can do a shadow box. I'm doing a 12 by 12 layout and show your style that way. So it's pretty cool. I absolutely love it. But here I am back to the layout. I am doing different things. So the collection that I am using is called Everyday Musings and I got the, I think I got two of each not only for everyday musings for the embellishments but also joyous glorious day or joyous day from pink fresh studio and the gray is from close to my heart so the paper that you see me working on my background paper is a gray color from close to my heart and now i'm just putting up my embellishments All of the dimensionals that I am using are from Stampin' Up. I absolutely love, 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 love their dimensionals. I use both the mini and the regular sized one that they have. I also follow this sketch pretty closely. I just added an extra photo and I kind of went out a little bit further than what they did but for the most part I followed it closely and closely as I possibly could. I will also link the Pinterest pin which then in turn if you click on it you can either save it or do whatever but then it also links to um, the blog post where she used the layout for this one. And now I'm just finishing up. I'm just adding the little bits. I'm trying to stay as squ square based and rectangular based for my layout. And you still get obviously if you are a if you are a what do I want to say like a triangle based. You can tell that I have multiple triangles on here. Like it could be all colorful for that part. But. I am doing that. My title is going to be one of a kind because she is truly one of a kind. I mean, obviously we all know that we boast about our children and we have, you know, this, that, and the other, and et cetera, et cetera. But this girl is just one of a kind. It is like, I've never really, like out of all of my life span, I've never really met somebody like my daughter. She has a love for animals. She, I just, I really don't know how to explain it until you meet her. Like everybody that meets her enjoys her. She's just got this, this personality and warming to her that I just, you know, I don't like to boast, you know, I, we, yes, we like to boast about our children, but I, you know, I don't just like boast, boast about them. 
but she just has this thing that everybody always talks about and I even see it in her too. And I placed a bunch of hearts down from Stampin' Up. I do then get out my black, my gold colored um, from Shimmers, it's Sunset Strip and I do do some splattering. And just go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not um, subscribed to my channel before. I would love to have you. Make sure you go check out the blog and everything, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!